if you are working on any vast data which is really messy it really becomes a challenge to analyze that type of data in today's video we will see few examples of extracting details from vast data hi my name is vijay and you are watching office champ let's start the video without any delays let's start with our very first example we will start with simple examples or basic examples and gradually we will move to advanced one over here i have got full name and against full name I want first name and last name in two different columns. My approach over here will be very simple. I'll click on first name, we'll copy this, control C or command C. We'll select both the cells of first name and last name and we'll paste over here, control V or command V. We'll press escape. Now I'll come to first name, we'll double click over here and we'll delete last name from here. Enter. So I got first name. Now I'll come to last name, we'll double click over here and we'll delete the first name from here. Enter. So in this way, I got first name as well as last name. In case you want to type manually, you can. Now I'll click just under first name and we'll press Ctrl E. All the data got filled up. Over here also I'll do the same thing. I'll click over here and we'll press Ctrl E. All the first names and last names got filled up. So Ctrl E is the shortcut for flash fill. Let's move to next example. Over here we have got details and against details I want region, company name, invoice number, client's name and items. But over here I have got one criteria that company name should be in uppercase. I'll come to details. In the very beginning we have got company name. I'll click on details and from here I'll copy company name. Control C or Command C. We'll come to company name and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. I got my company name. But as per criteria, we want company name in uppercase. So I'll use plus or equal to upper. Bracket open. I'll click on company name over here. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we got company name in uppercase. Now I'll copy company name. Control C or Command C. We'll click on top. We'll right click the mouse, paste special, values. Now I'll delete this from here. Let's come to detail. Second thing in detail is invoice number. In case you want to type manually, you can. Let's put invoice number manually, 201, enter. Third thing over here is details. Let's copy this, control C or command C and let's paste in region, control V or command V. Now we want client name, but in our data, client name is in the end. It doesn't matter what you copy and what you paste first. The target over here is to put the data. Let's copy client's name. Control C or Command C. I'll come to client name and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. Now we are left with items. And the item over here is mobile, which is in the center. I'll copy this. Control C or Command C. And we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. Now I'll come to region. We'll press Control E. Whole data got filled up, company name, control E, invoice number, control E, client's name, control E, and items, control E. But let's change the color of items. Let's do it green. We'll click just under first item and we'll press control E. And all the details got filled up through flash field. Let's see our next example. Over here I have got my details. And in the center, I have got customer name and ID and both are together. And I really don't want ID over here. I just want customer name. I'll delete this. Now, what will be our approach over here? I'll select my data from top to bottom. I'll click on first name. We'll press shift control down arrow key. Now I'll press control F. Window of find and replace got opened. The second shortcut is control H. Let me close this. I'll press Ctrl H. In both the shortcuts, we are going to get find and replace window. Find what? Find what? I'll put bracket open, star, bracket close. Replace with, I'm not going to put anything over here. I'll come down and we'll click on replace all. Alert. All finished. We made 15 replacements. I'll do OK. And we'll close this. And just notice. All the employee IDs got removed. Let's see our next example. Over here we have got employee data. 
in employee data we have got employee id and employee name and both the things are together and between employee id and employee name there is no delimiter and we have to extract our data in two different columns over here it should be employee id and over here it should be employee name i'll click on very first name we'll press shift control down arrow key now i'll go to data tab in data tab we get the option of text to columns in the center i'll click on text to columns over here we get two things delimited and fixed width in our data there is no delimited means there is no comma or no separators over here so i'll click on fixed width we'll click on next now i'll click just after my employee id one line is visible if we want we can adjust this now i'll click on next we'll take this to right over here we can see destination it's on c3 so i want my employee id over here and name in the next column in case you want to keep your data and you want updated data in next columns just click over here now i'll click on finish alert there's already data here do you want to replace it i'll click on okay and just notice our employee ids are over here and our employee names are in different column let's see our next example over here we have got a vast data and the data is really vast it has nearly 8000 rows we'll go on top there are different heads and all the heads are in a single column but over here in our data we have got delimiter and our delimiter over here is comma i'll come to right hand side and these are the different heads where i want to put my data we'll come to left we'll click on very first data we'll press shift control down arrow key whole data will be selected now i'll go on top we'll go to data tab we'll come in the center text to columns we'll click over here in our last example we had fixed width but this time we have got delimited so i'll click over here we'll click on next we get lots of options over here we will click on other we have got the option of comma over here but then also we will click on other and we'll put comma we'll click on next over here we get few things like general text date do not import column and in bracket we can see skip and over here our destination is c3 we'll take this to right this is our c3 where my data is currently sitting i'll delete c3 from here we'll take this down and we'll click on d3 where i want to extract my data now i'll take this on top and we'll click on finish and just notice my data got divided in various columns or my data got extracted in various columns we'll come to left in case you want to delete this data you can we'll right click the mouse delete now you can create borders and arrange your data properly just select the data control a or command a go to home and create borders perfect let's see our next example over here we have got employee name but the employee names are not proper in some names there's lots of space the first letter of names or first letter of surnames are not in upper case so we have to manage the names properly and we will do this in two steps in first step we will remove all the extra spaces we'll click over here plus or equal to trim bracket open we'll click on very first name we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll drag this down and all the extra spaces got removed now let's move to step 2 plus or equal to proper bracket open we'll click on first name we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we will drag this down and just notice we got the desired result now the question comes over here can we delete this data no as of now we can't delete our data so i'll undo this control z or command z so what can be done next i'll select my whole data we'll copy this control c or command c we'll click on very first name we'll right click the mouse paste special we'll come to right hand side and we'll click on values now we can delete our data let's move to next example over here i have got all the details in a single column and the details are like company name invoice number region items and client name 
So I want to divide my data as per heads. Approach will be very simple. I'll click just under first heading and that is company name plus or equal to. We'll click on company name. Enter. We are in different row now. We'll come to right hand side. Plus or equal to. We'll click on invoice number. Enter. Again our row got changed. We'll come to right hand side. Plus or equal to. We'll click on region. Enter. Every time our row is getting changed. We'll come to right hand side. Plus or equal to. We'll click on items. Enter. We'll come to right hand side. Client name. Plus or equal to. We'll click on client's name. Enter. From here, data of second company is getting started. So over here, our work is done. Now let's move to second step. We'll click on company name and we'll select the whole data till client's name. Now I'll drag this down till my last entry. We'll go on top. Now I'll press F5 or function F5. In case we are using desktop, just press F5. And in case we are using laptop, you will have to press function F5. Small window popped up. Go to. Let's come down. Over here we get the option of special. We will click on special. Another window will pop up. Go to special. On fourth number, we get the option of blanks. I will click on blanks. We will come to right hand side at the bottom and we will click on OK. And all the blanks has got highlighted in grey. Now I will press Ctrl minus. Small window will pop up. Where we can say delete. We get four options over here. Shift cells left. Shift cells up. Entire row. Entire column. By default, it's clicked on shift cells up. In case it's not clicked in your system, just click over here on shift cells up. And click on OK. Just notice. My data got extracted very easily. Let's move to next example. Over here also we have got all the data in a single column and we have to divide the data in various columns as per head. But our approach over here will be totally different. Let's see what can be done or let's see what we are going to do. We'll click just under first header that is country name. Now I'll come to left and we'll click on country details and I'll check the cell number that is C3. I'll put C3 over here. Enter. We'll come to country details. Next entry is in C4. After that, C5 and C6. From C7, details of other country is getting started. So details of other country is in C7. I'll put C7 over here. Enter. Now I'll click on C3 and we'll drag this to right. So we got C4, C5, C6. We'll click on C7 and we'll drag this. So we got from C7 till C10. Let's cross check. C7, C8, C9 and C10. Perfect. Now let's go down and let's check the cell number of last entry. It's C42. Let's go on top. Let's select the whole data and drag it down. The last data was till C42. Let's cross check. C42. Let's go on top and let's delete the rest of these. Perfect. I'll select all these details. Now I'll press Ctrl H or Ctrl F. In both the cases, we are going to get the window of find and replace. Find what? Find C and replace with is equal to C. Now I'll come down and we'll click on replace all. Alert. All finished. We made 40 replacements. I'll click on OK. And we'll close this. And just notice, all the data got extracted very easily. Let's see our next example. Over here we have got details and just in front of details, we want details without line break. Now what is line break? I'll increase the size of formula bar. Names are not in a single line. So our target over here is to take all the names in a single line. If your data is small, you can do it manually. But if the data is really vast, in that case, approach will be totally different. We'll click on details. We'll go to formula bar. We'll copy first name. Control C or Command C. We'll come over here and we'll paste it. Control V or Command V. We'll go to details once again. Now I'll copy second name. Control C or Command C. We'll come over here. We'll double click. We'll put space and we'll paste the second name. 
control v or command v we'll come to details once again now i'll copy the region control c or command c we'll double click over here we'll put space and we'll paste the region control v or command v enter now we will press control e and just notice all the line breaks got removed let's see our next and last example over here we have got employee names and country and i have got two targets the first target in the end of every name there should be monk but we can see champ also so i have to remove all the champ from here and i have to replace with monk so this is my first target my second target in country i have to remove us and instead of us i have to put the full name as united states so let's fulfill the first criteria first we'll select the data or we can select the whole data also control a or command a now i'll press control h you can also press control f find what let's take this down find champ so i'll put champ over here replace with monk we'll take this on top replace all we got a lot all finished we made five replacements we'll do okay and we'll close this so our very first criteria got fulfilled now let's move to second criteria i'll select the whole data control a or command a we'll press control h find find what find us and replace with united states now i'll click on replace all alert all finished we made seven replacements okay i'll close this i'll put seven over here just to remember the figure that excel has made seven replacements now one thing to notice over here let me increase the column size in country we had got us and us got replaced with united states but in the names also there was us which got replaced with united states and we really don't want this we just want to change the country name and not the employee names let me undo this control z or command z so we are back with old data let's put 7 over here just to remember how many replacements excel had made earlier i'll select the whole data once again this time i haven't pressed control a or command a because it will select 7 also let's see control a it has selected 7 also so i'll select my data we'll press control h or control f find and replace find what us and replace with united states we had done the same thing earlier also so what's the basic reason we are repeating the same process from this step or from here things will change let's see how we will go to options now in options we get lots of things in the center we get the option of match case and find entire cell only let's click on match case replace all alert all finished we made four replacements i'll do okay and we'll close this and just notice this time only the country name got changed and there's no change in employee names so these were the 10 examples of extracting data in excel i'll provide the link of file in description box in case you want to download you can i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye